Decorum, folks. This is something Republicans still think they actually have the credibility to lecture Democrats about. It's kind of amazing if you think about it. John Fetterman, you may know him, very tall, very goateed, very tattooed, showed up at the Senate wearing a hoodie. Would it be my choice of dress for the Senate? No, but that's what he chose to wear and Republicans blew their collective spadoinkle. But they're not sending their best when they come after him. Marjorie Taylor Greene, who you may know from her time in the House and during the State of the Union as a howler monkey, or that other time she stood there and groped a cardboard cutout version of Donald Trump and grabbed his junk in front of a room full of people. Swap. Diane always has them in the swap. Lucky swap. Yeah. Lucky swap. Diane always has them in the swap. You may even remember old decorum Marge there showed dick pics of Hunter Biden on the House floor during a hearing. Thought she had the credibility to go and lecture John Fetterman on his personal behavior, who of course has lectured the rest of us on family values while going and having a little bit of side action with the gym rat guru, which of course led to her divorce, which I don't have a problem with, except for the fact that she tells the rest of us how to live our lives. Yeah, that's Marjorie Taylor Greene. Then of course there's Ron DeSantis. He, he also had something to say about John Fetterman. Ron DeSantis of the cute little white booties, the Barbie booties, and the yelling at kids on stage for wearing masks. You do not have to wear those masks. I mean, please take them off. <laughs> Honestly, it's not doing anything, and we got to stop with this COVID theater. So if you want to wear it, fine, but this is, a, this is ridiculous. And the ability to walk into a room and seem less charismatic than inanimate objects. Okay. But the final one, the fact that this week Republicans would even bring up this issue, decorum, behavior in public, when we have everyone's favorite Coloradoan, Lauren Boebert. Lauren Boebert was going out on a first date. You know, she just left her husband, another family values paragon there who tells us all how to live our lives. But she ditched her husband for whoever. She's a grandmother at like 36, obviously. In that family, lots of intelligent discussions on birth control. And she still felt as a mother and as a public figure, she'd go out to the very sexy show of Beetlejuice. We all get horny at Beetlejuice, don't we? Especially woof, at Michael Keaton. She went out to see the show in Denver and she did, well, we'll show you what she did. The congresswoman was kicked out of the theater for being disruptive. The pregnant woman sitting behind Bobert told the Denver Post she asked her to stop vaping and Bobert refused. Her one woman show continued taking flash photos, raising her hands and dancing. Bobert occasionally took a break from being disruptive to enjoy the company of her male companion. He briefly had a grasp on the situation before ushers returned and told Bobert she had to leave. The theater's incident report says Bobert pulled the don't you know who I am card on the way out, appearing to give theater employees the single finger salute. She kept singing along and making noise, I'm sure, out of key, and I'm sure there were various Confederate songs mixed in there nobody wanted to hear, and finally had to be escorted out. They think they have the right to lecture John Fetterman, and what I love about John Fetterman is, and, you know, we've talked about others like Eric Swalwell and Stacey Plaskett, he doesn't take their crap. So he, of course, clapped back and made sure to remind people about what Lauren Boebert did this week and made sure to remind people about what Marjorie Taylor Greene did this week and what a genius campaigner Ron DeSantis is, that connection with people. He doesn't quite connect with people in the way Lauren Boebert does, though I might prefer Ron DeSantis' non-connection to Lauren Boebert's connection with various parts of her body. And in the end, Fetterman made them look like fools. It sends the message to the American people, A, these are jokers, clowns, to not be taken seriously, and B, John Fetterman is one of those who's changing the culture of the Democratic Party. So we hit back because antisocial personality disorder, narcissists, others with all sorts of clinical and non problems with their interactions with others, they don't know anything but punishment. They will not understand unless you hit them back. And that actually worked with Lauren Boebert this time. She issued an apology below her standards. That's good to know. In any case, keep going, John Fetterman, keep going, Eric Swalwell and Ted Lieu and CeCe Plaskett and Gretchen Whitmer. That's the new face of our party. Keep hitting them back harder than they hit you.